I don't remember my first day in the set other than it wasn't, it wasn't negative. Everybody was, was, was polite. Uh, I remember Nichelle, it was very sweet. She said hello to me. Uh, I had actually auditioned for Leonard Nimoy years before in a, uh, in a play by, I think, Jean-Paul Sartre. Um, and he had kept me there for way over an hour. I thought I had gotten the part. U ultimately, I didn't. But I had known him from that. Uh, as I say, Bill was um, perfunctory, but he was not rude. Um, Jimmy was fine. Jimmy was pleasant. George wasn't there yet. You know, George was still shooting Green Berets. So I, I, I felt okay. Um, Yeah, I remember there was one moment with, with Bill when I was trying to make conversation. He was sitting at a table, and I was trying to make conversation, you know, just to get things rolling. And I said, you know, I remember seeing you on a series called, I think it was called We the People. Uh, it, was, it all took place in a, in, a, in, a, in a courtroom each week. I said, I thought you were really good in that. And he looks at me and says, how old are you? And he thought that maybe I was putting him down that I'd seen it when I was nine and that he was so much older or something. Little did he know that he was only five and a half years older than I was, you know. So I, mem I remember that. But uh, other than that, the TV series, perhaps to, uh, to anticipate another question, was a kind of a fun place, you know. Uh, there was a lot of laughs. Uh, Bill was usually... Uh, the one who initiated the laughs, uh, he'd blow a line or something, and people would laugh, and he would laugh, and it went on. I know there was stuff going on bet between closed doors, and there was a, a lot of uh, infighting between who would get the more lines, Bill or, or Leonard. I found that out later, and in fact, I found out from Harlan Ellison, because Harlan wrote *The City on the Edge of Forever* for, for, the, for that show that Bill had actually driven up in a, on a motorcycle to his house one, one weekend and sat down with him and lobbied him to change the script so that he'd get more lines. <laughs>